Yeah, cam or no cam. I always think cam is better. Should I bring back cam for my channel? VTube is cool, but like I can't... Yeah, I mean, I don't have much of a high opinion of it. Not like in like a criticising people kind of way. I just don't have much positive stuff to say about it. But cam or no cam really comes down to preference, doesn't it? But my problem with VTubing is more from the sexual inappropriate nature of it that I don't like. If you do like an innocent, non tarty inappropriate, sexual, wannabe anime nonsense like that, I cannot stand. But we all know what my opinion on anime is and selling sex is. So combine the two. And funny enough, I don't have a very good opinion of it. But yeah, cam or no cam, I always think cam is better. Uh, see, I watch people with cam because it, that's exactly it, Sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what I think about cam is like, when you watch someone side by side, one has a camera, one doesn't, who will pull your focus more? And I think 90% of the time, it's the person with the camera. That being said, I do know some people who are very successful with no cam at all, with uh, VTubing, with uh, just like a picture in the corner. I personally just prefer a camera. But yeah, I personally just think camera is better. But it also depends on the person. Let's say someone's really shy and awkward in, on camera. That might mean that being on a camera is detrimental to them. Do you know what I mean? Because they might not act their most hyper fullest blah, 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 blah. Because they're embarrassed because they're on camera. So for those people, not being on camera would be better. But again, it all depends on each person. To be fair, a lot of the ones I like aside from you, there are even no camera VTubers, but meh, it's more for personality. Yeah, I think if you can make your personality shine through without a camera, then it makes no difference whether you have a camera on or not. Me, personally, I absolutely could not do it without a camera. Like, you need to be able to see my face. And if you couldn't see my face and my expressions and my hand gestures, you'd probably think I was mad most of the time. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, for me, I just prefer cameras unless I know the person for example Kiggy you don't use a camera do you and I would still watch Kiggy but that's because I already love Kiggy so I've already got like a huge soft spot for him so therefore it doesn't matter to me that he doesn't have a camera but yeah if I was to what if I was to go and watch a streamer I and I chose a new streamer whether I wouldn't choose one without a camera and I definitely wouldn't choose one for a VTuber but that is because I don't like VTubing. I know, like, a lot of people do. I don't like it. I think I'll bring it back. Like, I have a VTuber being made too. I think I was using... That's a good idea. I know someone who does that. She literally swaps between cam and no cam, depending on how her mental health is and was and stuff. I changed to VTuber for mental health. I think that's a lot of people's... I think you have, like... Like... Three types of VTubers. You have the ones that do it because they want to hide their face because of mental health reasons. Like, not hide their face, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's easier to be behind a VTuber because of mental health. You have the ones who do it for mental health. You have the ones that do it because they're too shy to be on camera. And then you have the ones that do it because people have a weird sex thing with VTuber stuff. Like, it's a whole weird sex culture. Like... That's what puts me off it. It's not necessarily the be being behind a picture that does it, does it for me. It's the fact that it's a whole sordid sex anime weird thing. And they and like then people start selling it in a sexual way as well and start like doing inappropriate content with it and like making it all about the boobs and gankiness. And then it's like, like it's just kind of, it's, all up there with the same reason that I don't like OnlyFans. I don't like VTubers for the same reason. The second I see a VTuber um, doing a sexual type like play, you know, where they're like making their VTube 
thingy, really big bouncing boobs and they start like making them wear inappropriately booby clothing and stuff and like it's all about the and all that disgusting stuff. I mean, I actually mute them. I've got so many VTubers muted on my, um, on my Twitter that I th I'm actually at the point where I don't see VTubers that much anymore because I mute them because 90% of female VTubers are sexual and I think it's disgusting. That being said, just to clear it up, just because somebody does um, sexual VTubing doesn't mean I don't like the person or get on with the person. It means I have nothing to do with their content, just to get that out there. Like, I could separate the person from the work, as long as they keep it away from me.